to be here. I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, we are live on Facebook. We are live on YouTube. And uh, a lot of people can also join us on YouTube to be able to benefit from this class. I'm going to be displaying my screen for the next few minutes. And um, from there, we kick up the class immediately. So this is exactly... This is exactly um, 7.05, and I think 7.05 is good. Okay, so uh, my name is Odetola Ebenezer Ebenezer, and um, in this class, we are going to be exploring the secondary school environment and the classroom decoration. The secondary school environment and the classroom decoration. I'm sorry, um, I was thinking there is nothing like um, um, taking power again in Nigeria. So I think they are still taking light, you know, although the light has been good sometime in Nigeria for some time now. Kudos to all of them. Um, I'm going to share my screen. Um, yep. So I start immediately. So the topic at the front of me over here is um, integrating technology. No, no, no. I'm not talking about integrating technology. Let me put it this way. I am talking about secondary school and the classroom decoration. So we are going to be looking at ways that secondary school can be decorated and um, how we ourselves um, can also be of help to be able to use the little skills we acquire from this class to be able to create a welcoming environment for our secondary school learners. Secondary school has been left behind for a very long time. I don't know why. But today, I'm going to create some clarity around this. If you are meeting me for the first time, my name is Odetola Ibiza Israel. I'm a learning environment therapist. I decorate school environments. I create um, an environment that serves as the thought teacher. I create an environment that serves as the silent curriculum. And I'm also, I, uh, I explore the technology resources that can make the teaching very interesting and i also explore artificial intelligence in the classroom environment i explore a lot anything that can make learning simple anything that can make learning interesting i explore them and um, if you are not on our whatsapp platform you can also join us so that you can learn on learn and relearn and uh, many things about me again i own a store where you can buy classroom decoration materials called ebencourt.com so in that um, in that store you can buy a lot. Um, from there you can get a lot of some of the things that we're going to talk about. You can get um, a lot of them to. You can also buy a lot of them to use in your classroom. So I start immediately. Uh, my presentation will explore more about um, the importance of the um, secondary school environment, and I'm going to discuss the effective classroom decoration ideas that make the secondary school environment stand out and then like i also make the school environment not to be left behind i'm going to start with this short story um this story long time ago um i take most time upper class in schools although i've stopped teaching thus recently and then um, this set of year six students graduated to um, to gs class and we now observe that most time they come around. So when they come around, they come to come and spy, to come and look up the, the, the primary school environment. And then there was a time when I decided to ask them, what exactly is the problem? 
you guys come here to come and look at our lovely environment. Do you like our classroom? He said, yes, they like our classroom. That where they are over there, there's nothing like this over there again, that their classroom is more mature. And I was like, wow, your classroom is not mature. Okay. Um, that simply means that there's something they are missing. There's no continuity in what they have been experiencing for some time. And most of these people, most of these students, most of these students, they have homes where their homes are well decorated, where their homes are welcoming and more. But by the time they get to the secondary school environment, one of them said that the environment looked very mature. So that means that the aim of we creating the classroom environment for most of them is to create a mature learning environment. No, I don't believe that there's nothing like a mature learning environment. The learning environment is the learning environment. Regardless of anything we want to do with the learning environment, it should be welcoming, it should serve as home away from home, and it should be able to make students feel that yes, this is a classroom that they should call home. So I so much believe that teachers and uh, administrators can change their mindset. And um, with a lot of things that are going on right now, we can change our mindset to be able to accommodate the secondary school environment when we talk about the classroom environment. So this is basically my introduction. And I'm going to start with I'm using this picture. Yeah, the learning environment of secondary school is a very serious one. You know, this is the place they go and write notes. There's nothing for you to look around and more. So it is a place where we, this is a serious environment. We are preparing you for university, you know. And they have been querying a lot of things. Although my research is going to secondary school right now, whereby I'm going to measure, I'm going to measure the academic performance of where if we have decorated classroom in secondary school i'm going to publish it if possible state should adopt it taking the picture of this lagos state environment this was a classroom that they launched recently in lagos state lagos state is trying yes well let's look at this this classroom was um, launched when they were launching the classroom they decided to use balloon to launch this classroom you know it's it looks somehow why did they decide to use balloon to launch this classroom it simply means that they are not satisfied with just the with just the plain walls only. That they need more things beside the plain walls. So it simply means that everybody know that a plain wall in the classroom environment, that classroom can be turned into a church or a mox immediately. So the classroom environment should not be played. The classroom environment is a place that when they, look, when they look left, there should be something to learn. When they look right, there should be something to learn. It is now how we position them that will now determine the impact of what we place in the classroom environment. The secondary school class, the secondary school classroom environment should not be left behind. It, there should be a continuity. We go to beautiful places. We call it beautiful. When we come back to our secondary school environments, we make the place mature. And at the end of the day, a lot of people are even looking for ways to make their working place beautiful and more. So this has been my findings. This, by, this has been my curiosity question. And I believe that we can have a mind, we can have a, we can have a change of mindset about this classroom environment. We can have a change of idea about how this classroom environment should look like. And I'm sure at the end of this class, we can deliberate about it and see how this classroom environment can become home away from home for the secondary school. I want to ask about five questions before I start fully. The question, number one question is that, how do you feel about the idea of making the classroom environment, making the secondary school environment look mature and adult-like? You know, when I try to tell them the secondary school environment should be decorated, it should be, we should have some instructional materials on the board and not just instructional materials only. We should be able to have a classroom that is welcoming and a classroom that we start as away from home. A lot of them question that, oh, 
this is a mature environment. You know, we secondary school teacher, we are mature. We want to face everything squarely. We want to face our physics, chemistry, and more. And uh, I even forgot to even add to my slide. Maybe I will, I will open this and show a particular, a particular project I saw by Google. And the project was all about the classroom environment and the classroom environment, especially the secondary school classroom environment, and how it can it can change the narrative of of it and how it should look like. I'm going to look for a way to get that to get that video to get that slide or picture to show us. And also, I have this question. I'm sorry by a lot of people over here on my uh on my uh, in my phone how do you think some people believe that secondary school classroom environment should not be decorated yeah a lot of people have a lot of narrative that the class secondary school environment should not be decorated and i do fight them almost every time it is because a lot of people think about what i know before that is being done yesterday so shall it be forever and ever that's a very bad thinking things should be changing the world is changing. Right now, we are not talking about using Google again as a form of search engine. A lot of people use artificial intelligence as a form of search engine. And a lot of things are changing almost every day. The jobs are going to change. So that means that the classroom environment also should be changing. Another question I have, how can the classroom environment be positive? The classroom environment positively impacts student learning experience. This classroom environment impact their experience a lot what are those things that we have there that we think those things will be able to impact them both positively and negatively i would like us to be asking ourselves some of these questions and can you think about any potential drawback or challenges associated with extensive classroom decoration i know a lot of us have some classroom environment Especially the secondary school should not be decorated. This is a place for this, this is a place for that. But I would like you to think about it. Which one have you experienced in your classroom? Which one have you, even if you have taught before in primary school environment, which one have you experienced? I would like you to think about some of these questions. So, right now, let me start immediately. And then I'm going to start with this word that the classroom environment in which place. The classroom environment actually have a lot of potential to shape student educational experience and their outcome. Where they find themselves is very important. And what we place in the classroom environment is very important. This classroom environment can promote positive engagement. It can support the environment itself. And it can also enhance the motivation and the well-being of learning and the outcome. I remember that last year, a lot of people were changing their thinking about classroom decoration in secondary school when we have the issue of bullying in school. You know, there was a time that they just make everything plain, and by the time they make it plain, what they do is they leave it plain, the lecturer or the teacher coming into the classroom, they teach and go back to their staff room. Then from there, matters begin to be arising. Bullying started coming in. Students were not motivated. Students don't have anything to look at aside the teacher teaching in the classroom. The teacher is the author and the finisher of everything. When the teacher is gone, there's nothing to learn from again. Then he began to be buying posters. Posters, posters, posters. You know, I saw posters. I know when I talk about display, I know how many display people buy and I know how many posters they buy. Whereas display carry more power than posters in the classroom environment depending on how you have been educated about the use of those posters. In terms of well-being and a safe, caring and stimulating school environment, and, and, and also mental and, mental and health, the classroom environment is very important. So let me just put it this way. What we put in place in the classroom environment can affect the student's well-being, it can affect their health, and it can also impact them both positively and negatively. And according to a report by Center for Disease Control, it actually stated that students who feel connected to their school are likely, are likely to engage 
in risky behavior and are more likely to have high grade and test score. So it simply means that this classroom environment itself, it has a, lot of, it, it has a very big power. Beside us looking at budget, oh, budget, budget, oh, budget, oh, this and that, we don't want to spend, oh, why don't you let's, let's check also and look at the impact of this on their health? A lot of them feel very, very down. I'm going to show you a lot of research from my last finding in one of the schools I consult for. And then it is very important that we know that the classroom environment is not just a classroom for just us to just come in and just um, come and teach alone. It has a lot of psychological effect on students' well-being. It is crucial for educators and policymakers to invest in creating a, a maintaining school environment and also to create a conducive environment that can significantly enhance student motivation, well-being, and ultimately their academic achievements. Whether you are a school administrator, whether you are a um, whether you are the school um, head of school or the CEO of the school, it is very important that we invest in this secondary school environment. Let me show us this picture. When a lot of people come into school, this is what they look at. You know, oh, your school is beautiful. The outside of the school, I like your structure. You know, that is what a lot of secondary school parents, when they are looking for school, this is the first thing they look at. And because there is no schools that are well decorated in terms of secondary school are not that much in Lagos State. So it is what we give them that at the end of the day, they are going to receive. It is only in primary school that they will detect for you. Oh, your classroom is not welcoming. You know, you don't have those childish things around and more. But for secondary school, a lot of us focus more on the structure and we leave the classroom to just be plain. This is a classroom I decorated a long time ago as a secondary school classroom environment. I'm going to talk about all the components I use over here. And um, as at the time I decorated it, I have come up with about four more theories to improve this classroom. And uh, my major aim is that every secondary school classroom should have at least, if the classroom is as big as this, should have at least four to five display boards at the back of the class. I'm going to talk about all those type of display board and I'll show some pictures that I have for us to make this classroom a practical class. Motivation are very important. One of the key things about classroom environment is motivation. When I go into a classroom, when I check left, when I check round, what are those things that are motivating me? We need to ask ourselves, how do we make our learning environment motivating how do we create motivative learning environment how do we create an environment that is motivating how do we create an environment that by the time they go in even without you even trying to modify their behavior there are things around that can modify their behavior what about health and well-being a lot of students feel down they can't say it out a lot of students they are disturbed, they can't see, they're especially for the, you know, they are teenagers. A lot of them are battling with a lot of health issues, puberty stage and more. What are you addressing with your display and your decoration in the school? Right now, I'm pointing to what you should be addressing with some of the display you have in the school. So, their health and well-being is number one right now. Especially from GS3 and SS2, they are going to be passing through a lot. They are going to be getting a lot of chat, especially when they have phone with them. A lot of people are going to be chatting them with a lot of stuff, saying a lot of, you know. They are going to be seeing a lot of people coming physically, physical assault, rape and more. How do you want to address some of those things with the use of decoration in the classroom? I work recently in a school and um, I did an, um, an assessment need by the teacher to know what I'm going to train them. And I got this. And I'm going to analyze this. I'm going to point to you about four things over here out of this 10 response. I'm going to point to about four that still talk about the health of secondary school environment. This is actually a secondary school environment. 
Fine. The first thing, this person said application of modern teaching technique. This statement simply means that this teacher or a lot of them don't actually understand how they can teach again to be able to make sure that the students understand what they are teaching or for the student to be able to pay more attention to the subject matter in the classroom. Technology, fine. Special needs. Special education needs. You know, sometimes when we talk about special education need, a lot of us address this more to primary school. But in secondary school these days, we have a lot of things that are disturbed. Whether from drugs, a lot. Whether from drugs or whether from um, overthinking, um, um, emotional stress and more. Check out this the eight point one of the eight point three percent also i got this data teenager psychology and behavior this teacher said that he or she want to understand what a lot of them said that they want to understand the teenager psychological need psychology need and behavior so it simply means that there's no way to address this in the school they also they said child care how are they going to care for the children this is actually very mind-blowing and everything over here, I can use just the physical environments to solve about four of them. The psychology and behavior, special need, I can use, we can use that to address this. Mentorship can be used to address this for children. Child care can be used to also address this, apart from having a department that actually address this physically in the school. Training the student on, training on special need also, we can also do this. And then application of modern techniques Teachers need to bring visual into the classroom to teach, besides just using slide presentation. Let me open another response again. Understanding of teenagers and their mental health. How does mental health affect learning? This is actually part of the thing a lot of, a lot of secondary school students are facing. Communication skill, yes. How can you communicate without you even talking every day, every day in the school environment? Some of our design can actually address this. So this, we have communication as two. One, two, communication. Another one, support students and young people's well-being, supporting them and their well-being. The same thing. This is the secondary school data. About 50 teachers actually fill this form. And from this form, these are the data I got. Teaching methodology. They are already bored with their present teaching methodology. They need more ways they can work, they can make students feel what feel that yes they are learning something in the classroom these are data i have actually gathered for some time and i think some of these data about 70 percent of them having a well-maintained classroom with aesthetics with instruction can address some of this so end this class or let me put it this way to be able to bring solutions to some of this i'm going to suggest a lot of types of display board that you can use at the back of your classroom but before i start let me put it this way let me go to this my slide let's check this classroom at the back of the secondary school classroom i believe we should have we can have four fine that we can have three fine but five to four is fine three is not fine for now Although I have three in this classroom, this is because of the window. That is why I decided to have three in this classroom. At the back of this classroom, you should have the following five things. Before I show you the one that I have, let me just give you the five ones that I think you should have before I go back to my slide that is well prepared. The first one is the welcome board. So this board is to welcome the student back to school in a very unique way. The next one is a motivational board. This board is full of motivation centered to this classroom. Very important, they need motivation. So um, in one of the schools that I work, the motivation is centered to the name of the classroom. We have philosophers al alongside the classes. Maybe this class is year seven, Abat Makoli. This class is year eight, Walesho Inka. So we have another separate board for the name of the class. Who exactly is this person? What has been his impact for some time? It can be Shea Amanda, 
it can be this person a lot of those people that you can pick from all over the world you can make it africa alone you can pick from different countries in africa and that means that your children your student can travel everywhere from just the classroom so you can make your motivation total motivation you can make you can create another board entirely which is the third board right now to what to address the name of the class that means you have done a little bit of thematic decoration right now yes you know we do thematic decoration in primary school and um, our thematic decoration is um our classroom decoration is um basically uh, our thematic decoration is basically um yeah our thematic decoration is basically a very big one where a lot of people do a lot you know a crap is it, is it is a very big deal it is a very big deal the next one you need a board that talks about their achievements so i've mentioned four boards right now so let me now move to basically the one i have on the screen let's start with the first one the first one is academic achievement board so academic achievement board is basically a type of board that we can use to, di to display their achievements. Students should see their achievements. The achievement can motivate others. So the achievement, you should also look for different ways that you can use those achievements to motivate others. You know, sometimes um, some of these um, achievements, sometimes it's not almost everything we do, we can place in the classroom. So that some of these students will not be feel neglected, especially the ones that are still battling with um, a lot in the classroom. An achievement should go around. You can recognize and celebrate outstanding ach academic achievement of students in different subject area. So different subject area, you can have a certificate for this term, this person, this is what you have done, outstanding is this, outstanding in that. You can make it a simple, simple, achieve uh, what you call certificate and you can also make it in a medal in, in primary school um, basically we use um, in primary school we use uh, um, in primary school what we do is um, we make use of um, star charts or let me call it behavioral display board so a behavioral display board is a type of display board that we use to modify their their behavior but this time it is more of academic achievement so what they achieve and we can use it to accommodate almost everything regardless of who you are regardless of what you know we can give we can still celebrate you so and i think that this can actually work out in your school the next one student work display so you can look for a way to display their work in the classroom environment so it can be maybe um an outstanding work maybe at work maybe a very um, lovely novel that was written by someone you can paste it on the board. Maybe um, um, there are different ways to actually showcase their 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 exemplary work. A lot of work that they have done across all the subjects in the classroom. No subjects should be left behind. No subjects should be left behind. If it is even possible, somebody like me right now, if you are if you play a lot of music, we can even look for a way to get a QR code embedded. It we have we have talked about technology and display board. We embed the QR code. So when we embed the QR code, we can even see you that are even playing music as one of the best students in music in the classroom. Display essay, display artwork, display science project, display creative writing, and also use that to inspire others in the classroom environment. It is very important that we use some of this to inspire others. The next one. Book recommendation. This board, I introduced this board long time ago at the secondary school level. And my major aim for introducing this board is to, is to make sure that um, apart from reading, 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 what about we having list of books that we are reading for the end of the year on the board, the book cover, wait till book week before we review some of these things. There are some students that we can use some of these things that we display as book recommendation to motivate them. So it can be a book that talk about maybe abuse. It 
can be a book that talk about maybe their subject matter in the classroom. It can be a book from their lit from their literature review, from their literature, maybe the novel that they are reading for that year, maybe the novel that they are reading for in terms of English um, English language novel and more. So we can actually get some of this done in the school, and then we use it to also motivate the learners on the classroom. So encourage reading by creating some of these book in the classroom. So when you have this done on the board in the classroom, you are encouraging that the student should be reading. And with this, you can also you can even have a book review around it. You can do a summary, a little summary around it. So with this, sure, they'll be interested with just little summary that you have done. This book talked about how a girl, how a boy went to somewhere, this, 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 and that happened and more. So with that one, the person will be interested in knowing, oh, what really happened? I want to know more. How, when, this and that. So they'll be curious about them knowing more about what really happened in that book. Inspirational display board. Inspirational display board can never be taken out of the classroom environment at all. So there's no how we can do it. We need inspirational display board. Inspirational display board are types of board that we can use to inspire our learners. And by the time we use them to inspire our learners, at the end of the day, uh, learners will feel, yes, that their problem has been solved. It can be a problem solving display board. It can be a display board that talk about morale. It can be a display board that talk about a growth mindset. You need inspirational display board, even in the classroom environment. In the classroom environment, inspirational display boards are needed in the classroom environment. The next one, we have study tips and strategics board. So this type of board is a type of board that we use to, you can get a lot of pictures online also. Um, I think I can, my, the aim of this class is to just open your mind. So by the time it's open your mind, you cannot look for ways to get this done. Although I'm gonna be having a practical class on the 12th of, of, of August, at Federal College of Education um, at Coca, it's going to be physical and online. And then with this class, you are also going to learn some of this in physical. Although I have a lot of, this slide only is about, I have 20 over here, about 80 something slides. So they need to know about study tips. We, we, should you be sleeping at home every day? What time do you think you should be learning? What time do you think you should be doing this and that? So you can make it as a poster, you can make it as a display board if there's still enough space in your classroom you need a board that talks about their studies and a lot of tips on how to study they need to know about career a lot of them are battling with what they are going to be at home what they are going to be in future what they are going to they are thinking about career almost every day and you know, parents detect their career because they don't, schools did not give their venue for them to know about a lot of careers out there. So give a display board, a dedicated display board, maybe in the classroom or maybe at the walkway to talk about careers. Then use example of people. Elon Musk can be an example of a career. He's a businessman that what understand trends all over the world and use the trend to create solutions. So I think this is not a bad idea at all. Career exploration display board. Current is event display board. So current event display board are basically primary school environment. What I do with this type of display board is to have a newspaper. So we have a newspaper and then the newspaper we now, we talk about everything like one after the other okay this is um, um this is what happened today in nigeria this 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 person this person this is what happened and more so we tear a particular page of the newspaper and uh, from that newspaper we what we explore and the student get to see a lot about how what is happening all over the world and how they can try their best to be able to be informed they are global students. They should know that Messi is in Miami right now. A lot of them know, but and a lot of them don't care to know 
and um, information is powerful information is power so we should look for a way to bring in some of this display board into the classroom it can be a display board that can even be changing almost every week i believe it should be changing every week every week it should be changing we can have one of the prefect to even be working on this display board okay there's a newspaper that is going to be dropped somewhere in the school so pick up one of the newspaper hang it on the board and i like participatory decoration in secondary school not just the not everything is not meant to be done by the teacher it's meant to be a participatory one where everybody we are all involved so the student is coming in to be able to what to be able to get this done on it to be able to get that done on it so participatory display board let them contribute let them bring their ideas all ideas should be welcome the next one let them know about everything in terms of their digital fruit prints technology is now very important a lot of them post online just any uh, i'm on you know i remember something recently one of my school and um i just saw online go wow this one is massive the girl was just dancing on tiktok you know we need to shut down their accounts after shutting down their accounts then we now reshape their mindset about tiktok tiktok is good for you but what can you do on tiktok that will be impactful you know so they need to know about their digital footprint anything you post online it can never be deleted for life it is there somebody may use it against you later so you mind what you say you mind how you say it you mind what, what you post it is not all the story of your life you should post they need to know about this not until they discover if you discover you'll have made mistake so our display board can address this in the school environment so this is basically what i have for us today and before i continue uh, before i do a recap let me give room for question and answer or let me quickly do a recap of you have learned so far so far we have talked about the classroom the, the secondary school learning environment and display and then we, I, I asked a lot of questions should the secondary school environment be left behind when we talk about decoration and i talk about the impact of the, the impact of classroom environment classroom decoration in secondary school environment i'd like you to even give it a try if you have not decorated your classroom before as, as a secondary school give it a try this time and see the outcome i'm sure by the time you see the outcome you are going to see something different that's something different check it from the academic performance that's something different check it as in form of anything in terms of their behaviors and more so the classroom environment is very important i use the school environment as example the school environment if it is welcoming the classroom environment how welcoming it is it is not by painting this August. Your painting is just a flat surface. Your painting is not educating. Your painting is aesthetics. So, what other thing do you need in the classroom apart from just aesthetics? You need aesthetics that can serve as instruction. You need aesthetics that can that can be used to project what is being taught in the classroom. You need aesthetics to be used to be able to modify student behavior. You need aesthetics to be able to curb or to maintain their health and well-being. You need aesthetics to be able to address problems that they can't speak in their mind. So sometimes it is not just aesthetics. It is aesthetics that works. Understanding how this aesthetics works is a very big deal right now. So you need to be thinking about it. The classroom environment should be welcoming. The secondary school environment, you know, as at this time when I was decorating this classroom, they said, ah, we don't know whether the class, the secondary school should be decorated. This and I said, no, you should. It should be something that what that welcome the students. It should be an aesthetics that what that motivates them. Every time right now in some school, maybe first time they have motive, growth mindset, second time they have anti-bully, third time they have another thing. We are all looking for ways to address some of these secondary school students. And I talk about motivation. Motivation is key in secondary school environment. There is no how you can talk, be master of subject matter without motivation 
you are doing anything. So you are not doing anything without motivation. So your motivation is needed at this point. And you have to use your motivation to affect their health and well-being. You have to use your motivation to be able to address a lot in the classroom. They pass through a lot. A lot of them are passing through a lot, especially the SS class. So what do you have in the classroom to be able to address this? I talk about some of these that I've gathered in some schools at work. And almost every time, a lot of them talk about what? Modern teaching technology, teenager psychology, um, um, and behavior, mentorship, child care, special needs, and more. So a lot of them have a lot of special, special ability, special disability that we need to address. And I use this, this my second statistic also to be able to talk about this. And it is now glaring that the Clare County School environment should not be left behind. I talk about academic achievement display board. I talk about student work display board. I talk about book recommendation display board. I talk about inspirational display board. I also talk about study tips and strategy display board. I also talk about career exploration display board. I also talk about events, current event display board. And I talk about the digital footprint. Before I give you for question and answer, I'm going to be having this um classroom decoration training at federal college of education akoka and it's going to be both physical and online um if you want to join online you can join wherever you are anywhere all over the world and if you want to come for physical it's at federal college of education akoka so at this point let me open the floor i want to give room for us to ask questions so from this question we make this classroom this webinar a participatory one where everybody can now what can now um, talk, say something about or ask me any question. The one I can address, I will address it. The one I won't address, I won't address. So the floor is hers right now. So let's quickly talk about this. We have just 15 minutes to end this class. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. Auditola, for this beautiful class. I just want to appreciate you for what you're doing. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, Harry. Thank you very much, Good evening. Good evening, ma. Good evening, ma. Okay, uh, my question is, sir, um, you talked about uh, a recommendation board for books, book recommendation, but so I, my question is not to read about it. Is it that we have to paste, I don't know, how, how do you think, think we can go about it? Is it that we have to go get the names of the books and paste it on the word together with their author? Or what step do we need to take to carry out this book recommendation board stuff? Okay, yeah, I like the question. So um, for the book recommendation is board, one of the best way to go about it is uh, is for you to um you can make a photocopy of some of the books that year seven year eight year nine had reading and maybe at a particular corner paste it there so somebody in jss1 can see oh oh jss2 is reading this book I like this book i wish i'm here i'm in this class the person can even go and read it ahead or in your classroom there are some classroom the reading is that okay we are going to read five books for before the end of the year. so these are the books recommendation book for, recommendation book for the whole of the for the whole of the academy is that the one, uh, so we make we make a photocopy of it so when we when we make a photocopy of it then with that one we can be able to what to address a lot in the classroom and this can motivate them to be able to um to read ahead and um uh, you know when you even have um, what was it called around it um, um when you have summary around it it will also help it will help learners to be able to have a clue about what the book is around what the book is all about and with that they'll be interested in reading so we are trying to motivate them that reading is important and um, they can't take it out of their learning experience so any other question
any other question if you have question we can throw it in so that i address this before i end this class this lecture is on youtube my name is odetola ibiniza israel and if you are not on our whatsapp platform you can also join us on our whatsapp platform my name is odetola ibiniza israel on facebook youtube and everywhere and then um, you can join us on our whatsapp platform my number is 081 let me see whether i can type that in um 0813409610 oh 34096110 the first number is not correct. It's the second one that is correct. 34096110. So you can contact me, join our WhatsApp group, learn on learn, and um, I'm very sure that you are going to find it of interest. So um, in the absence of no question, this class is going to end. And um, I am positive that we have learned a lot today. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Okay, somebody wants to say something. Good day. Thank you sir. very much for the class. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank okay, you. Okay, good day, sir. This is Uyidili. Okay, ma. Please, please, okay. sir. I would like to know if you can just repeat the number again. Though I join up quite a bit late, but at least with the little time I've been able to benefit, I would like if you can just repeat the number again, sir. Okay, 081 3409 0813 Okay, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Um, somebody is asking for, a question for, for um, okay. Yeah, I was thinking. Okay. If I'm we can you, merge two things, uh, like the book uh, review board and the ICT footprints, maybe get the children to write about books they have read and yeah. do a, a one page display of it. And then we put their names as reviewers. So that goes on the uh, board to encourage others to read the book. Yeah, sure. So um, sometimes we may not have enough display board to accommodate some of this our creativity. So what we do sometimes is to now match them. So we have actually talked about the margin of it right now. So sometimes we may not have all the necessary board in the classroom to be able to accommodate this. So what we do is to make sure that we look for different ways to be able to manage it. Maybe we have this board and this board and they look important. We match two of them together, becomes one and then we project it out there in the classroom environment. But digital footprint is very important, very important. Schools right now should be having a whole time to talk about, um, I name it, digital, um, uh, digital week. You can, you can call it digital week, you can call it social media week, and more, or social media team. Whereby they understand social, especially senior secondary school. They are out there on TikTok dancing right now. So they don't they don't know what to do on TikTok. They don't know what to do on 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 IG, on LinkedIn, and more. So they need to know about it. So that means there should be a dedicated board for some of those things, referencing to a lot of people that are doing great with it, and more. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank so we you have so just six much, minutes left. We've learned a lot today. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I am up six minutes. In the next six minutes, the chat is going to end. Thank you for coming to learn, on learn, and relearn. I remember to join the class on the 12th of August. It's going to be a class that will address both primary and secondary school. And it's going to talk, we are going to talk about technology integration into classroom decoration. Thank you very much. Have a blessed weekend.
Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir, and have a good night rest.